to another new video. So today's video is going to be very interesting because in today's video, I'm going to share with you some of my favorite snacks that I love to have, munch, chew, devour, swallow, whatever you say while reading. Now, having snacks while reading books is something that many of us find so enjoyable. However, for others, it is something very distracting and disturbing. Now, if I talk about my opinion, then I mostly prefer to have snacks while I read fiction books because when you read fiction, most of the time you don't need to pay a great deal of attention to reading them. Fiction is more of a fun read. So having food while reading fiction, I think adds more fun and pleasure to eat. Um, it's like combining two good things in one sitting, you know. However, when it's a matter of reading non-fiction, I always try to avoid having food or snacks because when you read non-fiction, you need to pay high attention to understand, to contemplate whatever you are reading. So having food uh, while reading non-fiction, I think, you know, it's a kind of distraction into your reading. I understand that. Anyway, getting back to the point, in today's video, I will share my 10 favorite snacks that I love to have while I read fiction books. And before I start, it is safe to make it clear that all the snacks you will see in this video, most of them are not nutritious at all. So yes, today we will skip the advice of the wellness gurus. But then again, I would say whenever you have this type of sugary and spicy food, make certain you just do not have them in excess amount, okay? So yes, keeping this thing in mind, we are going to start today's video, so do enjoy. Hi, welcome to an awkward voiceover. So we are going to start with something healthy. Yes, popcorn is healthy when it is not associated with other ingredients. So you know, there are myriad ways to prepare popcorn. So when you make it without any sugar or spices, popcorn is super healthy and absolutely delicious to have while you read books or maybe watch netflix next we have these cookies so these are called salcotti cookies i hope i'm pronouncing it correctly uh, anyway so recently i'm having these cookies a lot so inside the packet you will get like three compartments in which total you get like 12 cookies now coming to the test uh, these are very nice thick uh, crunchy milk cookies which are like crisp on the outside and a bit soft inside besides you will get a very light milk flavor in them okay now i am a huge fan of biscuits and cookies and from that love i have this curiosity to try out different cheap biscuits um, you know from roadside shops and most of the time the experience is like worst uh, because they are either hyper sweet or filled with so many artificial flavors and ingredients however this is the one which turned out great so yes this with a cup of tea and with your favorite book is just glorious highly recommended next we have this delicious cake which i think almost all of us like as a snack and when it's the matter of reading i think books and cake pair pretty well okay they are like meant for each other so recently i was reading this book called the little book of huga by may waking which uh, mainly deals with the secret of danish people's happy lifestyle so according to this book sweet food or let's say more specifically cake and pastries make everything cozy and comfortable um, it says our cravings for sweet food is innate besides if you notice uh, our first taste when we come out of the womb of our mother is breast milk which is warm and sweet so it is assumed that our cravings for sweet food is innate and probably that is why we feel so happy when we eat cake or any kind of sweet meats so I have this leftover cake from last night which I was enjoying. It's soft, it's dense and it's a great accompaniment to delight your taste bud while reading. Moving ahead, we have this chip. So this is pottery chips as you can see. I purchased it from the bakery shop Sandra and this is one of the best reading time snacks for me, okay? It's crunchy, it's soft and you, you don't need to put any food to break them when you put them into your mouth. And talking about the taste, um, it has a kind of uh, tomato flavor in it but it's not prominent and there is a garlic flavor 
again it's not dominant so what made this chip so palatable is that i think um all the ingredients have been used in it in a proper ratio and there is a balance among all the ingredients so yes it's a perfect reading time snack next we have something healthy which is a yogurt bowl now yogurt bowl is a quick snack that you can prepare with a very little effort all you will need to do is just to grab your favorite flavor of yogurt some fruits nuts and a drizzle of honey although i don't prefer adding honey as the fruits already bring a level of sweetness so yeah that's it it's ready now it's definitely uh, I mean not the prettiest but it's so delicious and beneficial to health. The next thing I love to have while I read books is chocolate. So this is Marabo Oreo chocolate bars. It's a new addition to the Marabo chocolate brand where you get cookies, I mean crispy pieces of Oreo biscuits and chocolate in one. So when you put a bar into your mouth, you get crispy Oreo cookies and a kind of a uh, vanilla feeling covered with um, you know delicious velvety milk chocolate now the bars are big fat square shaped as you can see filled with crunchy oreo pieces uh, by the way it's a very sweet chocolate but the good thing is it doesn't have a cheap taste okay it's a crunchy experience so i'm certainly going to recommend it next we have these delicious noodles loaded with lots of veggies now i have to name these uh, rainbow noodles where noodles are fried with mixed vegetables and it looks so colorful so i have got these mini pack noodles where each packet is suitable for one person so yes it's faster it's fresher it's cheaper it's flavorful and if you can cook it carefully it can be a perfect homemade reading time snack Moving ahead, we have these very soft butter buns. So this packet comes with four cute, round, sweet, soft buns sprayed with uh, creamy buttermilk. Now the buns are very much like a burger, as you can see, sliced in half, and inside you get rich cream. So if you are hungry, you can just take one or two buns and just enjoy your reading. So yep, do give it a try. Next we have these soft, fluffy, moist, gorgeous muffin. So there is some food when you have it. Uh, it gives some kind of physical sensation, you know, like uh, you can feel it inside your mouth. It feels so hearty and and gives you a good feeling. So this muffin was exactly like that to me. So yep, it's a, it's a lovely reading time egg snack. Moving ahead, we have these uh, bread and Nutrella with which you can easily prepare a kind of Nutrella sandwich and it is one of the most common ways to enjoy Nutrella. So all you will have to do is take two pieces of white bread and cut the four borders if you do not like them and spread Nutrella on each of the slices and then flip them with each other. Then cut the square bread in a triangle shape in order to um, give it a sandwich feeling, you know. And that's it. It's ready. And um, if you want, you can add some fruits in order to make it healthy. So yes, it's easy, it's fun, it's delicious with a chocolate hazelnut flavor. So yeah, it's a great treat both for breakfast and snacks. Moving ahead, we have these delicious Coco Crunch. Now, this comes in a convenient tin box, as you can see, which ensures the cereal stays fresh for a long time. So, Coco Crunch is made with whole grain and has a great chocolatey taste. It's a good source of uh, essential vitamins, minerals, and its crispy texture makes it perfect for a bowl of cold milk. Um, by the way, whenever you have it, uh, make sure you have it immediately after you drop them on the milk. Otherwise, it, it, it gets soft, which is not great at all, okay? So yes, it's healthy, it's tasty, and it's a satisfying way to start your day. 
Lastly, we have these golden brown Danish butter cookies. So this tin box contains five different types of cookies. The banana ring cookies, pretzel cookies, coconut raisin cookies, finish bread cookies and chocolate chip cookies. Now, if I give you an overall review of these cookies, then they all taste more or less the same to me except for some very slight differences. They are sweet, they are buttery and there is a whisper of coconut flavor in most of them. So yes, highly recommend it. So that was all for today's video Fox. I really hope you had a fun time watching this video and you enjoyed this mixture of all my favorite books and absolutely delicious foods. And please do let me know in the comment below what's your favorite reading time snacks. I'm so curious to know as it's a matter of reading and eating. So yes, sending a plentiful amount of love to all of you and I will see you in my next video.